a high-end video produced by Iran's Civil Aviation Authority. As the country looks to drastically modernize its air travel sector, in a CNN interview, the transport minister outlines ambitious goals. I'm seeing that uh, Iran Air will compete within uh, five to seven years with all the regional uh, air, uh, airlines. Years of sanctions have devastated Iran's airlines. Many of its aircraft are old and unsafe because of a shortage of spare parts. But at one of the first major international airline conferences in Tehran, companies from all over the world are scoping out what they hope could be a dynamic new market. Iranian authorities believe they will need hundreds of new planes in the coming years, not just to meet the demand of its citizens, but also for the millions of tourists they believe could be coming here soon. Iran is looking to buy more than 100 aircraft from both Boeing and Airbus, and the minister in charge says that is just the beginning. We think uh, we need about uh, 100 uh, short-range uh, fleets uh, for our uh, local uh, flight. Uh, and about, uh, for national fly about, uh, and international fly about uh, 400 uh, fleets uh, that can do the middle and uh, long range uh, flight. But because Iran's economy is highly dependent on oil, the drop in international crude prices could hamper Iran's plans for a large scale modernization of its air, road, and rail infrastructure. While some believe that could also affect development of the tourism sector, Iran's tourism minister tells me the country will be ready for a major influx of foreign visitors. The price of oil has a big effect on our economy, he says, but 90% of our investment in tourism is done by the private sector, and the private sector started investing even during the sanctions. For years, international sanctions have made Iran's airlines some of the most unsafe in the world. Now, Tehran is keen to leave behind its troubled aviation past and get its fleet and airports up to speed. Fred Pleitkin, CNN, Tehran.